to RFQ TV and Radio Free QuickBooks. Uh, we are missing our most important, I think, of the three of us, Woody, who usually conducts the interviews. Uh, today it's just Dawn and Dawn and myself. <laughs> yes. And we're here mm -hmm. in Mountain View at Intuit, the Intuit Mothership, as we like to call it. Yes. And we're getting a bunch of interviews. Uh, we're here for you. So today we're talking to Will Lines and he's going to tell you about all sorts of really great stuff. I've been beta testing it, so I've seen it. Um, Stacy Keldall, Keldall Services in Water from Michigan, and Dawn, why don't you introduce yourself? Dawn Brolin from Little Little Wyndham, Connecticut, uh, Professional Accounting Solutions, also DBA, Powerful Accounting. It's all about the power. It's all about power, yes. And we have Will. Well, why don't you tell the audience who you are and what you do? Thank you. Uh, I'm a product manager, and I'm working on the QuickBooks Online iPad app. Which I love. I've been beta testing it and I love this. So, uh, just a couple questions. Uh, we're going to keep it short and sweet today. Uh, what exactly is it that you are introducing? Well, kind of or, already got ahead of the I game know. a little bit a little here. Bit. But, yeah, uh, I was stunned by that announcement. I yes. know. Surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise. Yes. Surprise. But I mean, not obviously it's sure. the iPad app, but you know, what does it entail? Yeah. What is it? What are we looking at when we, when we open it up? What does it, what does it do? Um, so QuickBooks Online for the iPad is a complete solution for running your business wherever you are. So if you're out meeting with a client or in a cafe between meetings or running errands um, or at home sitting on your couch catching up on some work at the end of the day. Or you're sitting at the bus stop waiting for your kids to get there or maybe you're sitting in the backyard and they're swinging because those are what I usually do There with too? It. Yeah. All those hey, don't watch them. No. Use your iPad app. I don't pay any attention to them when they're out there. They're on their own. <laughs> Our parents were never out there. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm yeah. sure it'll be fun. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, my parents never knew where I was. Um, so who exactly, who's the app going to serve? I mean, I know obviously I will use it probably every day because uh, I've been using QBO for eight and a half years now. But who else is it going to be able to serve? Because I, I know that when I have been beta testing it, I can look in and see all of my clients. but who, is it for everybody? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, well, it's, it's really focused on um, simple, service-based businesses mm -hmm. um, that spend some amount of time in the field. Uh, okay. Certainly, there are aspects of it that will be relevant and useful to other small businesses, but um, you know, our core focus was uh, smaller, service-based businesses, um, and this might be the first version of QuickBooks they've ever used. Well, I, I, I want to just make a note of something. So this is absolutely brand new. Yes. This, and this has just launched. Yes. yes. And so this is actually a pretty big announcement. It's huge. I'm, I'm actually really excited because, yes. you know, I'm, I want to be able to do that kind of stuff. I want to kind of be like you. And wait till you see it, too. It's absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite things are the graphs that show the income and the expenses. And then there's a list that shows all of the activity. And what's really neat, too, is the little notes that you can put in, mm -hmm. uh, which I actually just found uh, during beta testing not too long ago. And you can also add pictures with those notes as well, which is so cool. So you can put so in all notes just, for your customers. So I, I'm not a beta tester. So you're talking to me, you're all answering questions for myself and everybody watching the show, which is really great, right? So I'm learning as I go. Um, so you're saying that, that this is not like the QuickBooks Connect. This is not like, I'm not going to say not part of the App Center. I don't even know even how to explain it. But that's my question. My question is, you know, what, what makes this so different than QuickBooks Connect? Because that's what I use because I'm a desktop. Cool. Yeah, exactly. So tell me, tell me why is this so yeah. exciting? Well, if, if you used um, QuickBooks Mobile on your iPhone or Android phone and you're a QuickBooks Online subscriber, um, it's similar in that you just download it from Apple's App Store on mm -hmm. your iPad or on your Mac or PC and uh, log in with your QuickBooks Online account. And uh, so in that sense, it's very similar. As, as Stacy alluded to, there are some uh, features that are new to the iPad for appearing first on the iPad. Um, and overall, I think it's... it's uh, 
really one of the most beautiful, uh, it's beautiful. QuickBooks experiences you've ever seen. I just so. feel like there's love. It, it I sounds love it. lovey. I love it. I get so excited when I get my email saying that there's a new build ready to install, so I can't wait to see it. Yeah. So I get Interesting. Really so do you think, in your opinion, is this a game changer? Because as we're trying to move people you know, not trying to move people, but encourage people to use QuickBooks Online. We've been, you know, Jill and the peanut butter and chocolate thing works for me, mm -hmm. analysis. Um, and so my question to you is, how, what kind of a game changer is this, is this application? I, I hate to use app, because app sounds so like, you know, uh, it, well, you know what I mean, it was like the, my Verizon Navigator, that's not, this is big. Right, yeah. this is it's a lot big. bigger than that. Thank you, yeah, our, certainly our hope is that it's a game changer, I think, mm -hmm. you know, we'll, we'll see, only time will tell, but, um, it, it feels like we're really at a crossroads, and it's sort of the, the marking of, of a new era. Mm -hmm. um, so one significant first is you can actually come in as someone who's new to QuickBooks, so doesn't have a QuickBooks Online account, and start using the app, sign up, get a free QuickBooks Online trial, just like you can on the web. Um, mm -hmm. And that's really the first. Up. That's awesome. Yep. So you can sign up as a completely new customer, and, and what we've seen over the last few, few years since um, you know smartphones took hold and app stores is that more and more um, consumers and small businesses as well, more and more of their shopping and buying behavior, they're, they're looking at app stores, not necessarily on the web or, or in a traditional retail store. Um, so this kind of marks QuickBooks coming there. Yes. Right, and so with saying that, I, I'm just curious, uh, I'll ask all the questions from now on, by the way. I'll just sit here um, and smile. So, so, so I say I come on, I sign up, I get my new thing. I, can, I need to print some stuff. Now, of course, I'm not a fan of paper. We're gonna, I'm just going to tell you that right now. Yeah, Obviously, don't, you don't can print. be print, yeah, do yeah, printing is dumb, but we don't want to isolate those people in the in the audience who might Sometimes still print. You have to, there but I'm a big print to PDF, it. so there's going to have some print to PDF functionality within that on on the tablet. Is there some some things like that? You you can you can print using Apple's AirPrint functionality okay. if yep. you have a compatible printer. Perfect. Um, and then you can also you know take a screenshot or just or do a PDF review awesome. or or yeah. email it to yourself. Um, sure. And Print that just PDF. Print it, yeah. yeah, just interesting uh, integration there. Will you? F will there? I'm asking questions I probably shouldn't be, but I can't help it. <laughs> so things like a report. Let's just mm -hmm. say I'm in the app. I'm probably diving too deep. I can't help it. You can cut it out if you don't like it. Um, <laughs> so uh, so just like I'm just thinking from a functionality standpoint. You see, my eyes are sparkling with the love. I do want to note that. Um, but let's say you have a couple of reports that you want to prepare for a client and you mm -hmm. want to have them have access to, and yes, we can memorize reports and those kind of things that are normal, but putting them into some kind of a storage solution. So like you said, if you can uh, print them to PDF right on your thing or take a screenshot and then dump them into, say, a, a, another application, a document storage app. So having, as a user, I would, I'm a big fan of screenshotting, so what I would probably do if there was anything that I was looking at for an, as an accountant, I would probably screenshot it mm. and then uh, upload it to Smart Vault right. or whatever it is. But yeah, and, and one thing I'd add to that is um, it just uh, so we don't don't lose the another uh, message about something's new that's new is um, this is actually the first native app. So amongst our iPhone, Android, and now iPad apps, this is the first one that actually has any reporting built in. Yes. Oh, that's it's, awesome! You know, it's we're pretty narrowly focused on the most popular types of reports for for this initial release. Okay. Um, but it's it's a solid start and certainly should answer the, the questions. Uh, you know, a basic small business or mm -hmm. or the questions even established small business would likely to have day in day out. So interesting. The questions that I was just asking will <coughs> be answered by that mm -hmm. alone because that's what people are gonna. I'm from me as an outside perspective would be, those are first questions that would come to my mind, and it sounds like you've already solved for those ahead of time, which is yeah. awesome. And what, one of the reasons we, we knew reporting was important, apart from all of our experience uh, on the desktop and on the web that tells us as much, um, is that uh, when we started the project, we really thought about um, what are the unique capabilities of this tablet device, mm -hmm. um, so we can really take full advantage of them and come up, come up with the most delightful um, app experience possible. And we, just from our use of um, you know, Apple's apps, things like Mint, if you use yeah, it for absolutely. personal finances, yeah. mm -hmm. um, is that just pinching and zooming and multi yes. using that big touch screen, um, it's a lot of fun. So yeah. we, we knew that we wanted to get some uh, reports and charts in there. So I have a question. Um, how is this going to help small businesses at year end? I mean, how, how is this going to make this easier? Yeah. Well, we talked a little bit about uh, the income stuff, estimates, invoices. Um, we talked about reporting and charts. Um, so the final piece of the puzzle is tracking expenses. Um, and so this is available in the QuickBooks Online iPad app uh, for the first time. Um, 
so you can just take photos of your receipts, which the IRS, IRS is going to want to see if you get audited. Mm -hmm. um, God forbid, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I good, hope you don't toys. hear that knock coming good, to the yeah, door. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. good, good to always be prepared. Mm -hmm. um, and we made it just really uh, fast and easy to save an expense with as little or as much information as you want. The idea being, you know, if you're you know, just jumping in the car after having bought some stuff at the store and you need to capture it for, for tax time, you can just snap a photo, maybe put in an amount if you want to, and, uh, and awesome. choose a category. Yeah, awesome. So, um, yeah, very fast and easy to create an expense on the go and make sure you're ready for tax time. That's great. And that, the other question that we had was, uh, you mentioned that you can get started, uh, mm -hmm. right? You don't have to go online. You can actually start your QBO file, your QuickBooks right. Online file, uh, right from the app. So yeah. what does that look like? Yeah. yeah I'm curious can you show like. us that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so again, one of our major goals for the app was to make it as easy as possible for someone who's never used QuickBooks before to get up and running with a QuickBooks Online account and start using the app. So the whole I'm, I'm reluctant to even call it a setup experience because um, we really tried to make it not feel like you were setting something up, which sounds tedious. We're just gonna, um, you tried to make it seem like it wasn't, you're setting up your accounting system? Exactly, right. exactly. So uh, when you first start using the app as a new customer, uh, we walk you through customizing your invoice. So yes. you can put as much of your contact information as you want on there, um, and you can actually look it up on the internet so you don't have to do a bunch of typing, which you know isn't the most fun on touch devices. Mm -hmm. um, and you can throw your logo on there. We walk you through creating a sample invoice with, with sample data so you don't have to set up items and set up all oh, this other cool. stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really, really cool. cool. Yeah. So, um, you know, just a, in fact, when we've tested it in the lab or, or with our beta testers, we've seen they get through this in, in like a matter of minutes or less. So that's awesome. it doesn't feel at all like, like you're setting up an accounting app. And although that starts with the first use and, and with setting up the app, um, it really extends, you know, as you start to create your invoices and estimates and, and receive payment. Um, you know, our goal was that it was a productivity app that helps you get your work done as nice. you're going through your day as opposed to something you sit down with at the end of the day or on the weekends, um, you know, entering a bunch of invoices you made um, mm. as you went through your day. And have to keep up with your accounting and your bookkeeping. Nice. Because exactly. they get so mad. I know they do get mad. Accountants get mad. Yeah. Well, and small businesses, they don't, they, sometimes they won't do it. They won't it's do it. It's overwhelming. We don't blame them. If it feels like accounting, mm -hmm. they, they won't do it. But if they feel like yeah. this is going to help me be more productive, then they're more likely to keep up with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Great. I think. I have a couple more questions. What do you consider to be the key functionality in the app from, from a developer standpoint? What do you guys think the key functionality is? Yeah, so when we, uh, when we were deciding what we were going to build and, and what, um, what pain points and use cases we wanted to solve, um, we really used as, a, as sort of a framework was the idea that um, QuickBooks is a, a complete accounting solution. You know, it's not mm -hmm. this thin app for creating invoices or for just tracking your expenses. Right, right. Um, and there's some, you know, there's some good solutions in the App Store, but they tend to do just one of those one things function, and then you kind of sure. miss the big picture and you've got to switch between all these different apps. Um, so we knew for the iPad app we wanted to have you know, each of the major pieces of, um, you know, of accounting for a basic business. So mm -hmm. um, that, and that drove a lot of the decisions we made. So um, you can generate estimates and invoices mm -hmm. um, and receive payment as you can on the mm -hmm. iPhone. Uh, we love, love to take money. Yeah. We love, <laughs> Who doesn't? We love to take Who money. We earn it, but we take it. <laughs> and just so how I use it is I'll create an, uh, an invoice or a sales receipt uh -huh. in the app, uh -huh. and then I go to my go payment, and I process the payment in there. Right. And then what I do, because right now they don't talk to each other, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter to me because that sales receipt still transfer. you know, it's in my QBO. Totally. Yeah. And so how, what I know is I have set up a new payment type called mm -hmm. go payment. Uh, so that I don't have to go in and download the transaction. It's already in there, mm -hmm. cool. and it'll sync up you know, when I uh, import that through my downloaded transactions. Cool. Yeah. Um, another question that I have been wondering is, what made you guys decide to develop a separate mobile app from the QuickBooks Mobile? Because right now, I use QuickBooks Mobile on my phone mm -hmm. to access that and some of my other clients' data. So what made you guys decide to just develop a completely new there, there were a hand, there were a handful of reasons. Um, so one was at the at the outset of the project, um, we potentially saw ourselves taking a, a pretty significant shift in direction, certainly from where the iPhone app was at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and 
because many QuickBooks mobile users today are actually running the iPhone app on their iPads. Right. It's one of the reasons we knew we needed an iPad solution. Yeah. Um, we, we didn't want to force customers into the, an iPad experience that was potentially going to be different. Mm -hmm. um, as it turns out, the, the I, they've kind of converged uh, over the, the history of the project. So, um, you know, but I think that still uh, holds true to some extent. And I know that the difference for me is in the iPad app, I can look at income, I can look and see what my net income is. If I'm in QuickBooks Mobile, I really don't have that functionality. I have to go into the native browser on my iPhone mm -hmm. and look at what, you know, my, you know, some of the reporting that I yes. get from the iPad app. So right. that's the difference there. Right. Um, I used QuickBooks Mobile on my iPhone to create transactions, but mm -hmm. for any reporting, I just open up QBO in my mm -hmm. native browser on the mm -hmm. iPhone. So which it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. The other thing I, sh I should say, uh, maybe implied by the, the name of the app, QuickBooks Online for iPad, um, is that it is quick, it only works with QuickBooks Online. Mm -hmm. um, so that was another reason, you know, if you were using uh, QuickBooks Connect, so syncing with Pro or Premier on the desktop, um, you know, we wanted to still offer QuickBooks Mobile as a solution for uh, uh, that businesses could run on their iPad. Yeah, and I like not having, when I'm on with, I have my iPad, I like not having to go between, it's, I know that I just open up QuickBooks Mobile, and what's really great are the notices that I get that tells me when something is overdue, like so I can chase <laughs> down my money. I really like that. So yeah. when the first time it popped up, I went, oh, I should call them. So I was really excited as, about that. As much as we, we would like to, to see every QuickBooks customer <laughs> open their app or website every day and see who owes the money, um, you know, we're all busy and we've got other things to do than catch up on accounting sometimes. So, exactly. um, yeah, notifications are a great way to, to stay up to date. And another example of where we, um, you know, saw an opportunity to take advantage of the, the capabilities of the device. Yeah, I love that. Well, I didn't even know that it was going to do that. So, and it just, it's not anything that I had to go in and set up. It just, it just did it. Yeah. When I, and I loved it. And you can turn that off too, yes. though. You can turn the preference off. But yes. I, I thought it was, I was really impressed. Okay. So I have one more question. Um, well, and you kind of talked about it, are the, the different experiences. What is the, the difference in using QuickBooks Mobile on the iPad versus using it on your iPhone? Mm -hmm. And I think I know the answer, but I'd like to see your sure. perspective on that. Oh, oh um, I, I, First, wait, versus this new app, versus mm -hmm, the QuickBooks mm -hmm. Online for iPad. You know, I, I, I'd say the functionality is probably 80% consistent, and that's an arbitrary number, but right. um, they're actually not in totally different spheres with the exception of some of those um, you know, additional features that are on the, the iPad app. I'd say the biggest one for the, where they both have the same feature like invoicing or creating estimates mm -hmm. or receiving payment um, is just the, the design and the experience of using the app because uh, it, it is optimized for the iPad. You know, we didn't just scale up the app we designed for the three and a half or four inch screen. Um, things that you might have to drill in and out of multiple screens to do on a smartphone form factor. You can now do all in one place. So take the example of filling out an invoice. You know, on the on the smartphone, you tap each line item to choose an item, and exactly. then it would change the screen, and you kind of drill in a couple times, and you choose what it is you're doing. You can kind of do all that in the context of your one big iPad screen, and it makes it feel much faster and more productive. Mm -hmm. It's also just um, you know, more pleasant to use if you're doing a lot of those data entry tasks. Yeah, exactly. so the fingers get sore after a while in and out like that, the yeah. screen, so I can see where that would be better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any other questions? I do not. I think he's totally explained there all the questions I had. I'm, I'm really like, excited. About I'm crystal this. clear now. I'm really excited about this mm -hmm. app. I love it. Great. Because so, I've always, every time I have to talk to any of you guys, uh, you know, about customer experience or anything, I've been saying for about well, Eric, my son is four, so for about four years, if I can just do everything for my phone or now my iPad, I'll be totally happy. Yeah. And we'd like I'm her to be right happy. There. I'm very, I'm there. Well, and that's, much. and that's, um, you know, I think, Stacy, your reputation, reputation precedes you in terms of sort of being on the cutting edge and being able to access this Begging stuff wherever you, you are. What's that? No, <laughs> no. Begging you guys, can yeah. I have that, please? <laughs> you have lots of good feedback. So, um, and I'm already asking for stuff that. I know is not there yet because this is the brand new, but I'm like, hey, can we God get forbid this? we get to the bottom <laughs> of your wish list. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, because you guys, every time you do that, I always think, oh, there's something else. Like with the QBO team when they fixed the online banking and they gave us downloaded transactions. So, you know, that's, I, I love that. So once it gets rolling, then I'll let you guys get this released and then I'll start harassing you for um, Thank more bells and whistles. That, I I'll can't, you guys I take can't a wait breather. to hear more. Can't wait to hear more. But what I, what I just want to say is, 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm hearing more and more from our beta testers and other small businesses we've talked to, hearing more and more things like what you just described um, and seeing that, you know, businesses that um, had tried other solutions or were kind of working with a mix of um, documents and spreadsheets, um, now that they have this on their iPad and, and on their iPhone or Android phone as well, they're able to get what they need done over the course of the day. So instead of queuing up a bunch of work that they're catching up on in the evenings or the weekends, yeah. or not at all, right. yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> or right before tax time. Likely. Or having to fire up the laptop and bring a wireless car. You know, I mean, that's yeah. what I used to have to do is have to bring, you know, my laptop and my Wi-Fi card and get all that going. And I don't have to do that now. I can pull over because I don't do it while I'm driving. Uh, I, have, I can just pull over and open up my iPad and, and do what I need yeah. to do. So. And, we're, and we're seeing more and more businesses work like that and some of our beta testers saying the same thing. So it's really exciting. So I want to say thank Oh, you were going to say something. Hey, whatevs. No. It's all good. good. No, I'm good. Bring it out. What she'll be asking for next is um, voice activated transactions. Mm. But we'll talk about that. Oh, that is a brilliant oh. idea. But I'm not a big... Oh. She doesn't always pull over. That's all I'm I saying. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to need to look look towards that. Bluetooth voice activated transactions for Stacy. I'm not, I have no comment. Mm -hmm. so, but that's legal, otherwise, it's thank you so much. To do something thank you. Like that. Really, for really me. appreciate you coming yeah. over. And we want to thank you for coming on and making a big announcement. Great announcement. Time big really time. Excited. Yeah. So Quick Quick books online you. for iPad. Yes. Yes. And it's beautiful. So thank we're you. going to do what we do at the end of all of our shows. Okay. We're going to uh, hold our shot and we'll count it out. So just look at the camera and smile. Uh, and we'll be out at three, two, one. Thanks for watching this episode of RFQ TV. For more episodes of RFQ TV, you can check out intuitacademy.com. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, and if you'd like to continue the discussions, you can find us on LinkedIn.